Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I trust and hope that you guys are doing really wonderful this morning. And so we're going to be talking about our disturbances out there as well as what is currently happening across the Caribbean and surrounding areas. We'll also be looking at the rainfall forecast for the region. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, guys, and so in regards to 95L, which is our development system, I want to get it out there straight away that the future of this remains unclear because it is something that is still pretty far out. It hasn't even become a tropical depression or tropical storm as yet, even though that is expected. So that is why the Northeastern Islands should be on watch. But as for impacts to the U.S., that is unknown at this point in time. It's, uh, it's expected to make a curve, but timing is going to be of importance. And so let's first get into what's happening with our other systems out there and then focus on 95. L. So here we are returning to the satellite imagery and we can see here that we've got a couple of our other systems, Idalia, Gert, uh, Katia out there. We also have all those showers and thunderstorms which are making their way toward the Caribbean, might bring some increased rainfall to parts of Trinidad. There we have our invest and then another tropical wave will be moving off the coast of Africa as we head into the next couple of days and we could see some development of that once. So uh, we're going to go on to it in a moment but zooming into the Caribbean here here we can see that there's still a lot of moisture across the region, but not a whole lot happening in the east, uh, particularly for the Lesser Antilles and the Virgin Islands because of uh, drier conditions there. So it has been a lot drier. A bit of activity is near the ABC Islands, nothing too much this morning. And then there are some scattered showers and thunderstorms across other sections of the region, such as over in parts of Central America, near the Cayman Islands, Cuba even across some parts of Hispaniola, uh, especially the, the Dominican Republic, parts of Puerto Rico, going down into Colombia. We see that blob of showers and thunderstorms and going up into the Bahamas. Not a whole lot of activity. And then as we take a look at this map here depicting the rainfall forecast, this is as we head into the early morning hours of tomorrow. And the more colorful areas are those expected to receive some more substantial rainfall. And so again, over in the east, it is pretty dry. Lesser Antilles, Virgin Islands, ABC Islands much is not uh, expected. As we saw earlier, there are some showers moving west, so that could bring some increased rainfall to parts of Trinidad, even for Tobago as well. A whole lot not expected for the Guyanas. Maybe some showers, thunderstorms popping up later today, but not anything too crazy. But then as we head over into Central America, there could be a lot of rainfall, especially as we head into this afternoon. Similar story as we head to Cuba and uh, parts of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, Hispaniola, even for some spots in Puerto Rico, not everywhere. There could be some activity popping up and then for the Cayman Islands and Jamaica the same story but nothing crazy is expected as we head throughout today so overall it should be a pretty sunny morning for many of us and uh, over in the eastern islands especially the northeastern islands I know that you guys have been longing for some rainfall I have been seeing the comments from you about how hot and dry it is there and that is really the case for most areas that are not experiencing any type of inclement weather conditions but unfortunately it is lacking to be a bit more persistent uh, in terms of the disturbance hopefully it is close enough to where it induces some increased rainfall but not to the point of uh, life-threatening conditions especially in terms of the flooding but uh, that will be something that we have to watch out for especially with the uncertainty and the potential track of it because there's almost certainty that hey this will develop into our next name storm and hurricane but will it be close enough to result in any dangerous impacts. Is it going to head to the U.S.? Will it affect the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands? So it is important to know that as we head beyond five days, accuracy decreases a lot. And the National Hurricane Center has been a little bit consistent with this expected westward to west, northwest and northwest track of the system. And we still see that we've got some islands, especially the Leeward Islands, being in the shaded area. And this is to track the center of it, like the model track guidance, which we will be looking at momentarily but there is that 90 percent chance of seeing development of the system and uh, a curve out is anticipated but timing is going to be what really determines impacts elsewhere but that is why i'm stressing that persons in northeastern islands the leeward islands i would even say the virgin islands and puerto rico you want to keep watch as we head through this week 
I'm not saying that you guys will be significantly impacted, but that remains a possibility. Like there are many other possibilities, but as we head to the mid and latter part of the week, there should be a pretty good picture of what this thing is going to do, what it is doing, how much is it strengthening. So that is really going to be the time when there can be more solid forecasts on what to expect from it. And so let's go ahead and look at our other system very briefly that we'll go on back to 95L. So here we have this next area highlighted with a 30% chance of seeing some development take place during the next seven days. So a tropical wave will be moving off soon in the coming days and we could see some development of it. And we want to watch it to see what it decides to do. But there's pretty good indication that this could be a system that remains offshore. But of course, 95L is our immediate concern. In terms of the track guidance, here we can see that the models are still pretty tight on that westward to northwest track expected and they don't expect that this will enter the Caribbean but as I mentioned before this is to track the center of the system and not the size if it is massive then there could still be some pretty significant impacts in parts of the northeastern islands heavy rainfall even gusty winds at times uh, even those very rough seas as well could be an issue and then in terms of how much it will strengthen it should be in a generally conducive environment I mean the wind shear right ahead of it doesn't look bad and there is some dry air in the area but nothing much to prevent this from intensifying so we can see here that all models expect this to become a tropical storm maybe by the next 24 hours as what we're seeing here all of them are in that shaded green area representing tropical storm force winds and then gradual intensification some of these want to take this up to a cat 4 hurricane cat 3 4 5 that is where we have that major hurricane intensity from cat 3 to cat 5 so most models are expecting that this will become a major hurricane again i see that being possible because of how conducive the environment is expected to be that uh, track right there of that model that neon one is expecting a cat 5 hurricane which i honestly don't doubt once the environment is at its optimum to allow for that to happen guys but again in terms of the long term that is unclear right now there are many possibilities with the system it could move further west before making that turn up to the north and it could make that turn sooner so uh, we'll just have to keep watching the system and that is why I'm doing these frequent updates so that you're always in the know with what is happening with it so I'll be keeping you guys posted and that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update stay tuned for another this evening where I will delve more into what the operational models are expecting and I hope you found this video to be quite informative, but if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond once I get the chance to do so, and as always, remember to be otherwise.